Hi everybody, it's Vanessa again, and I'm here with Steve. He's the worship member that we are going to be learning about this week. So I've got some questions for him. What is your profession outside of St. Andrews? Uh, I am a aircraft, a uh, electronics and environmental systems specialist. How long have you attended St. Andrews? My goodness, um, probably f going on five years now, I think. Does that sound right? Yeah, somewhere in that range. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite color? Blue. What is your favorite food? Oh, that's tough. I'm going to say it's pizza. I can eat pizza all the time, yeah. every day. Me too. Me too. <laughs> Do you have any hidden talents? I know how to knit. Yes, and crochet. Cool. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, who are some of your musical influences? Um, let's see. Will, uh, there's a, a guitar instrumentalist named Joe Satriani that is a big influence of mine. And then uh, Jerry Cantrell from a band called Alice in Chains is another big one from when I was a, a wee lad. So those are probably the two big ones. What is your favorite genre of music? That's tough, too. Um, it, it's hard to say because it depends on my mood of the day, but uh, I think I probably go more consistently to just alternative rock, kind of 90s stuff, because that's what I, that was my era, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is your claim to fame musically? Hmm. Musically claim to fame. Well, uh, I did get to tour for a short time and came very close to a record deal. Uh, un unfortunately, outside it, uh, things happened and uh, out of my own control, but uh, I guess that's probably, I, I came close. I was almost, I was an almost was. <laughs> <laughs> what is something on your bucket list? Um, I want to go to Hawaii and see the volcanoes. That's cool. Yeah. What three words would you use to describe yourself? Perfectionist, um, driven, and goofy. That's good. That's good. <laughs> what is a misconception that people have about you? Hmm. Um, I honestly don't know. I don't know what people think. <laughs> uh, that's hard. To, that's a hard question. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure on that one. <laughs> uh, what has been your favorite or your weirdest job? Weirdest job, I would say, is I um, did a thing called blueberry raking in my teens. And not a whole lot of people know what that is because it's something very distinctive of Maine. And uh, basically, it's you take a, a giant looking comb thing about this long, and it has a handle in the middle, and you bend over and you basically comb the blueberry bushes to get the blueberries out, and then you pour them in a bucket. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, I like that. So, do you like cats or dogs better? I would have to say I'm a dog person. Yeah, cats uh, can be nice when they want to sit on your lap, but they can be real jerks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What is your favorite season of the year? Favorite season has always been spring. Um, and I think that's probably more because in Maine, as things thaw out, there's always this smell. I don't know what it is. It was, And it brings me back. I know the smell is like the most powerful thing to invoke memory. Uh, so whenever I smell that thawing of, of spring, it, it always was always my favorite. What superpower would you have and why? Superpower. I want to fly. Uh, even though I hate flying an aircraft, <laughs> but uh, I, I want to fly because then I'm in control and then I can, I can see. I mean, there's so much that you can see yeah. when you're in the air that you can't see maybe from the ground. So. Yeah. And no, no having to pay for a plane ticket. Well, that too, and I can go pretty much anywhere, right? Yeah. <laughs> Who is your hero? Um, 
I'm going to have to say Nikola Tesla uh, because the stuff that he came up with I- is still in influencing our lives to this very day and uh, just an absolute brilliant person. Underrated too, I think. So, If you could meet and have dinner with any person who ever lived, who would it be and why? Well, I think I'm going to go back to Nikola Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I... I would love to have a conversation with him just as how to learn how he thought through his what his thought processes were to uh I guess really come up with the things that he came up with that's always been interesting. Who in the Bible do you relate to? That is a very tough 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 question. Um gosh, I'm not really sure. Are the outside of maybe just feeling old, I'd say Noah, because <laughs> he was old. Sorry, guy. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, I, I I don't know. There's so many, uh, there's so many people, obviously, in there. So uh, it's hard, to, it's hard for me to answer that one. It's, so I'm going to have to defer. <laughs> right. uh, what is your favorite verse in the Bible? Favorite verse in the Bible. Um, well, I think, I think that, you, you know, the, uh, uh, I may have spoken about it a little bit in my, uh, video devotional that I made, you know, and I, I wish I could remember it off the top of my head, but I know paraphrasing that, you know, God is with us through whatever we go through. And I know that the, there's a big paraphrase of God does not give us more than uh, what we can handle. And I know that's not in the Bible itself, but, um, you know, those verses, because I've gone through some crazy stuff in my life uh, and uh, seen some crazy things, and um, I always seem to come out on the other end, but I know going through those trials and things that I've gone through, I know he's still with me uh, through everything that I've gone through, and and so I, I, I try to, I, I love th- those verses that remind me of that, so... And our last question, what is your favorite thing here at St. Andrews? Gosh, I think that's easy. I think that's the people. Uh, the, um, I, I, I hate to call you a thing, but the favorite part of St. Andrews is the people. Um, that's what I think uh, brought me here in the first place and then just solidified why I stayed here. You know, and uh, I've been to few different churches. I've played at a few different churches for a, a, a number of years, and uh, this place is very unique, and uh, I don't know. It's hard to explain, but the just the f- everybody here, bands, folks out in the congregation are just awesome, so, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. Thanks. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed learning about Steve. I'll see you next time with a different member. Bye. <laughs>